Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do the master cylinder and I'm gonna start bending some of these brake lines for the uh, Beetle, Super Beetle 73. They're all pretty much the same that way though. I mean, master and brake lines, you're pretty much doing all the same thing. So, okay, well, uh, it's cold here today. It's, I can't see it, my glasses aren't on. I think it's like 24 in the garage. So I'm going to have to warm it up a little bit. Once I get it up to about 45, 50 in here, then I'll be back. Okay, there's the brand new master cylinder. A shiny new. My old one already dumped it. Uh, here's the switches. Here's one. The other one's laying on the bench that thread into there. That's a 25 millimeter or one inch. One inch just fits slightly loose. I'm not going to put these on until after the it's mounted in the car. But uh, I was right. You should have seen the gunk coming out of that old master. So, me doing the whole thing from pedal to drums, I'm right. It sat for 20 years, possibly longer. So, it's better off to change this stuff instead of crud going through the system. So, and like I said, I get the brake shoes, the wheel cylinders, new brake hoses, or they're somewhere. But, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get this master mounted. Remember I said about them spacers like this. That's very important, uh, your spacers between the double firewall. Make sure they're in there. If not, go to CIP1, JBugs, one of them, and grab new spacers, and they come with bolts. But very important to use them. I know you're tired of hearing me say it, but I'll keep repeating it. Don't want nobody to get hurt. So remember, your switches, at least on mine, are 25 millimeter, but you need a deep. I didn't have a 25 deep, so I used a one inch deep. And it fits slightly loose, but it's fine for taking these off. I'm going to hit these with brake clean and blow them out and clean them out real good. And then wire or clean them up, you know, make them shine. Okay, let's see how tough this is to get the bolt started because my wife ain't home to hold it. Okay, that's about the best angle I can get for you folks. Uh, this is where the master cylinder goes. There's your two bolts. You can see my sleeves in there and it's on the bottom one too. I have the bolts just pushed flush with the firewall. So being as I don't have an extra set of hands right now, which I advise that you do, because you can have somebody holding this master in place while you go in and start the bolts. But I unfortunately don't have that. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because it's going to fall. Okay, well I set a little box in there to hold it up. I'm going to try to start the bolt. So you guys tell me if it's coming through even. Oh. thought that was gonna fight with me and the bolts are through it's mounted I don't know if it's gonna go that easy for everyone else but it did I just set a box in the back and lined these holes up where I thought they would be and ran the bolts right in here's the brake line kit I hope you can see this from CIP one uh, that's for Super Beetle at 71 to 73 because they must be different. This is the steel lines, so not going to be very much fun. I didn't get the nickel. I should have. Wasn't thinking. Ordered too quick, so these are tough to bend. Uh, let me see if it's in the film clip here. Seems to be the, uh, 
The one that goes from front to back doesn't have a union in the middle. It's all one piece. Boom, boom, boom. Up there. So, yeah, don't want a union in it if possible, anyhow. But, well, I should leave them on there so they can get through the hole without getting dirt in the lines. I'll have to straighten them in the car. All right, well, I'm going to have to mess with that. They bend it nice and neat, I see. We'll see how mine go. All right, let's get inside the car. So, I took off the white plastic ends that came with the kit, and I put vacuum caps on them. Make sure you cover the ends of these before you start pushing them through the firewall in the back, because if you don't, you're going to get crud and dirt inside your lines, and you're going to have a problem. The one up, whoop, it already went through. <sighs> Gotta get the fitting through there. Okay. Now, oh, very long. I gotta put, I gotta order grommets, but I'll talk about that later. I don't feel like it right now. Okay, it's gonna come down and curve over and along the tunnel, but. Let's do our bending thing now. All right, now bear in mind, I've never used these before. So, no laughing. Okay, let me see. Oops, that one. I'm gonna have to, okay, that's gonna have to go up a little. And that worked so far. Oh, this is a tight bend. can't tell which one. Yeah, it goes in that one. Okay, well, pull this way a little. Let me see here. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Let me see here. cross thread Some little things work pretty good dang I'm pretty impressed there let me uh let me grab a wrench I believe that's 11 millimeter stupid size to grab the 7 16 my 11 millimeters too long okay Come on. Ooh, I like. That came out pretty good. The grommet will fit oh, right on there. Nice and tight. Look at that. Get a pair of these. They're nice for tight bends. No kinking. Ooh. Okay, I gotta bend this down towards the floor. Curve it over. Okay, just got to mess with it a little here. Okay, so I'll give it a, a large bend here. I'm going to put it, now you know where that hole is. I don't need to take the camera down and show you how to get through the back. Okay. Uh-oh. we got to get underneath here. Do it right. I want it under the heater cable. It's a pain in the ass. <sighs> Got to get it bent up through the hole. Here, let me move the camera. All right. I tried to reangle. This is a pain. Never realized so much people went through trying to film. You got to get it through the hole in the back, but you want it under your heater cable because it runs along the tunnel here. So. Why are you pissing me off? Okay, so we gotta bend it up a little to get these straight through. So we're gonna start putting it back down in the clips where I had it in the beginning. Wow, this is a pain. 
Okay. I must be hitting something at the back. There we go. Okay. So, gotta get this angled. Comes in through there. There's a clip there, clip there. You can see these clips, watch with them because they're not very thick. They'll snap. I'm not through the back. Okay, there's the T fitting. You clean them out really good though. Hit them with bright clean and blow them up and all that. I also cleaned up the threads on the bolt. You can buy these new if yours is screwed up in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'm messing around with one hand. Okay, 10 millimeter wrench. So you can't get a ratchet in there. Make sure you hold the T-fitting straight. You have one pointing towards the front. And then the others are for your left and right rear brake lines it wants to move on me hold it steady there we go okay so let me slide it a little further I should have jacked it up and removed the left rear wheel because this is not going to be fun this line is too long. I don't think they made it right. <sighs> Gotta try to bend it. And you can't even get in there. <laughs> Dirt in the face. Okay, let me bend it like that. Okay. <sighs> Almost there. That's gonna have to bend down. Wow, this is a nightmare here. My buddy just did one yesterday and his name's Hector. He got a YouTube channel. I'm gonna put it up in the description. If any of you guys play pool, this guy makes, he makes custom made cue sticks. He has a CNC and everything. These things are really nice. I'll put his link down in the description. I'm gonna tighten that line up, which is not easy to get to. Uh. that line's tight. Oh, don't over tighten, but make sure it's snug. A little bit more, just a titch. Okay, that's good. All right, well, that was exciting. All right, well, there's the clamps. It's all clamped in place. And I had to do that. That line was way too long. And there ain't no room underneath the car to take up the slack. I did it properly at the front, how it's supposed to be. Actually, probably nicer than factory. But, yep. Nice sturdy line kit, but they definitely made it too long. This is going to go from the master to the T-fitting in the front, okay? I measured these lines. I found the ones, I lined them up pretty well with which ones go where. I've seen now that some of CIP1's lines, some are a little short and some are a little long. So this is interesting. I've always bought parts for them. I never had a problem. So whoever they went through, I don't say. I'm not happy about that. Okay. Well, this one's a little too short for this, but I'm going to try my best. That's all I can do. I'm not happy right now. All right. I got this line on here. I'm not real happy about it, but it is what it is. As you can see, sorry guys, there it is there, 
and it's going to the T fitting in the front. Wish I could have got some better light on here. But that's to the master, to the front T fitting, and look. It may not look it to you, but it's tight. It barely made it. And I know I used the right one. Okay, another one bent here. I'm not gonna sit there and bend them in front of you because it's stupid. You're not gonna watch it anyhow. You're gonna fast forward, I know you. Just kidding. Uh, these pliers are amazing. I, I can't say enough about them. Uh, look at that bend right at the end. Not a problem. I'll put the link up for Amazon in my description if you want these. And no, I don't have an affiliate account or nothing like that. Because I'm not being rude for people that do. I just don't have one. But, but that's the bend it put in there. Because I needed that. So nice tight bends. But that's for the front from left to right. So come out pretty good. I did the other line. I'll show you in a minute. It goes from the T-fitting to the brake hose. Okay, and here's one that comes from the brake hose to the wheel cylinder. So, I went ahead and used my handy dandy bending pliers and bent the end right there. So now I gotta bend a hoop in there. A hoop. So, got an extension in here with a larger socket. I have skinnier ones I use too. But that's how I'm gonna bend it because I don't have tubing bender. So I'm going to start it right there. I'm going to pull it around the socket. Okay, let's see here. Okay, it bent that way. Look at that. Ta-da! I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at filming today for some reason. But you just put it on. You just put an extension in your vise. Put a socket on, there's different sizes you can use, and that's a different size tubing bender. When you put it on there, just use the palm of your hand and just bend around the socket. And that's what you end up with without a fancy tool. I'm freezing, it's 28 degrees in here. And I have a heater, but you know how it is. So, handy little trick. If you're doing a tighter bend, put you. What the hell's going on? Put a smaller socket on, smaller diameter. You can go bigger or smaller. It's like one size fits all. So that turned out good. All right, let's see what I got done here. Like I said, it was dumb to show you me sitting there bending brake lines. And there's the master. Everything's hooked up for except the hoses coming from the reservoir. If you could tell, I cut them. I'm going to buy new hoses. You can get a meter of it through CIP1 for like, I forget now, five or ten bucks. But it's the actual metric hoses. So go with them. A meter's uh, 39 and three quarters of an inch. So you only need a meter to do these two lines and then the ones up top. So, but I got to get the grommet going through the firewall right there. I'll get that ordered when I order my next lot. Uh, I went ahead and uh, cleaned up the switches real nice, put them back in the master. And let me try to get a different angle here. I know I'm all over the place, guys. Ugh, it's hard with this. And there's the front T fitting. It's all wire or cleaned up and uh, jawbreaker can get me on that. Uh, there's a line going to the T-fitting. You can't see the one that goes over the top and to the passenger side. And there we go. Crazy filming today. That came from that T-fitting up to the new rubber hose. Make sure you keep these sleeves. Slide them to where they're near the strut just in case they would rub. And I've bent that little line going to the wheel cylinder but if you can see I have the cap on it's not uh, hooked anything yet because I gotta pull the drum wire clean the backing plate really good paint it new wheel cylinders new brakes I got all that stuff already here's the other side that line off of that T fitting comes over the frame head across 
and up to the new brake hose. Like I said, make sure you put these sleeves, slide them to where the strut is. And then there's the other brake line bent and capped off. Wait for the new wheel cylinder installation. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm cold and I'm tired. So as you can see, the T-fitting's on back here. The line's coming through the back of the floor pan, so to speak, and it's hooked up already and tightened. So I'm going to order the rear wheel cylinders, rear brake hoses, and then bend them last couple lines for the back here, and I'll show you when I'm doing it. Uh, it's going to be about a week. Okay, I really, I had a hell of a time today filming just because of the angles I was trying to get in. So this is going to be one of my shoddy videos that didn't really come out very good. But I did the best I could, but at least you got the idea. I hope uh, somebody caught on to the socket in the vice trick for bending the lines. And then pliers, yeah, they're nice. I got them from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down there. No, it's not an affiliate or I don't make nothing on it. I don't. I just have a regular Amazon account. So if somebody wants to buy a pair of them, they work good. Or you can get them at Harbor Freight. I just think these were a little better quality than Harbor Freight. Uh, they work good for really tight bends. Really nice. Better than I thought they were going to. So, but thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and please share the channel. Uh, it seems to be coming along good. People are commenting now, which really makes me happy. Some people were commenting for a while and then never came back and commented. So, oh well, either way, I'm happy. I'm having fun with it. But I got the front wheel cylinders already, the front brakes. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. And uh, then we'll be doing the back. And then that's it. We're going to move on to, uh, I think after this, I'll probably be doing the headliner. Because I want to put the glass in and get that out of the way. And then we're going to be moving, uh, I think, to the transmission and stuff. So, okay. I appreciate you being here. I hope everybody has a really Merry Christmas. I'll probably put one more video up before then, pretty sure. So stay tuned and uh, take a look over at Jawbreaker. I'm going to put his link in the description, too. I'm sorry, folks. i got to chew in. Uh, he's got his 1915 CC that gave him a little bit of issues, nothing major. He should have it on the road soon. So take a look at Jawbreaker's uh, link down in the description there. And, uh, you know, give him a shout. See how he's coming along there. Uh, he just ran into some minor troubles. Nothing good. Uh, nothing bad. He's good at what he does. So, and, uh, you know, check out some links. I'll put them in the descriptions for some other channels that uh, these folks are good people. You know, so, uh, okay, I'll talk to you soon. I hope everybody's safe and happy. Later.